Good morning, everybody. You are back live with Bruno and I. <laughs> hey, come on. We're trying to shoot a video here, Bruno. He's pretty worked up. We have uh, Goldie, the little one. She's, uh, she's ready and they're ready to go, if you know what I mean. Let's keep this G-rated around here, can we? <clears throat> Try and keep it together there, Bruno. He's pretty worked up. Anyway, enough about the dog. I keep getting this one. Hey, Alan, what do you think's going on? This thing is just getting out of hand. It's just crazy. What do you know? What, what have you heard? What have, what have you heard about what's happening? Let's backtrack just a little bit, okay, guys? And let's start to, start to remember what I always talk about with Wall Street and banking and this inflated digital Ponzi in which has been created, has been created under the uh, many different economic avenues. But the biggest one is, hey, well, I don't need any dollars in reserve. I can just print them and loan them to people and make interest. Yeah. Why wouldn't I just do that? Why wouldn't I just print those dollars and then pump it into my stock market? Oh, I can do that. And I could do that with, let's see, my pharmaceutical companies, my military, my da 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 Well, that's not real business. That's a portfolio business. That's not real production of value. It's a portfolio business. And you can make it look big on paper all you want. The bottom line is how much real practical use or hard asset goods have been provided and how many people really want to spend their day, eight hours a day, working to obtain whatever it is you just created larger and bigger in a bubble. In other words, they don't want your bubble digit. They want to eat something. They want good water. They want shelter. Okay, so if you're not providing those or chips or technical yeah, industry of any kind, they don't have any need for you. And that's what's happening around the world globally. The whole world is starting to understand that we don't need the fat cats that run this world and tell us to grab a gun and shoot each other. Okay. I can't get too much more deep into that, but that's essentially the exposure that is occurring. So how are they going to fix the issue with the fact that a whole world's starting to see through this Ponzi? Let me backtrack just a little bit. And last week, uh, I wanted to do a couple, bunch of videos about it, and I'm gonna do another one later about this in more detail. But <clears throat> the way, it actually went no bid, okay? U.S. Treasuries went no bid. They, they called it a tail. A tail is a common uh, term that's used when a price starts at 5 and then it goes to 525, no bids. Then it goes to 550, no bids. Then it went to 575, there's no bids. Then it went to 6. Well, who bought it at 575? They did. They bought their own debt. That's exactly what happened last week. I had it confirmed. I've talked to two or three different people that probably should know. In fact, I know they know, and they both told me the same thing. Oh yeah, Japan didn't buy that, China didn't buy that, nobody bought that. They paid a couple of firms to buy that. I'm just telling you what I hear, I don't know that, but that's what I was told. This is a time in which they only have one, two tools left in the toolbox, okay? They can lower interest rates, which personally I don't think they're going to do. I think they're going to leave them level and try and wait it out as long as they can until they really have to pull that tool out of the box. But the biggest tool they're going to use is they're going to turn that printing press on and they're going to get it in the hands of the public because the public buys things and they're going to buy everything. The beautiful part is for the bankers, not so much for the rest of the world, is they see what people own. In other words, if you're the banking cartel and you want somebody to own what you Ponzi, you do it through the top seven companies. 
which are the, you know, the fang stocks and the rest of it. So when I hear people tell me, oh, Al, I know the stock market's going to crash. It's going to go to zero. No, that's not what's going to happen. That may happen one day, but every country, if you look at them, Venezuela and everybody else, when their currency started losing ground against the rest of the currencies around the world, their stock market shot straight up. The other reason why the banking cartel will want this to occur is the fact that if you look, they have all those fang stocks on their books. Germany does, China does, Russia does. They own these fang stocks. Japan is up to their gills in it. They own these companies, stocks. They printed their own currencies to purchase them. They bought treasuries to buy them. This is the backbone and the only thing holding this dinosaur up. So are they going to let that happen? They're going to let everybody just go ahead and... Okay, the first warning sign is we're not buying the U.S. Treasury. Okay, that's a big warning sign, guys. That's big. Because that tells you the debt death spiral has occurred. There's no way out of this now. There's no way. There's two ways out of it, okay? You completely eliminate your spending, number one. That's probably not going to happen. <laughs> Let's just go there. That's not going to happen. Or number two, you produce. Your nation goes on a work binge to the point where <laughs> to it produces so much GDP, it has a surplus into its nation. There's not enough of that going on either. So both of your big things are not going to happen. So what are the forced tools that they have to make the whole thing happen? Lower interest rates and print money. And what are they going to do? In my opinion, 2024 is going to be number go up, bubble get big, if you know what I'm saying here. You're going to want assets. I talk about this all the time. I am not in the camp that thinks that Google stock and whatever, Apple, the things, all of them, Amazon are going to go down in value. I'm not in that. Why would they allow that to happen? They'll personally print money and they'll buy those stocks to hold them up to be relevant in the global world. Not just that the technology is good because a lot of it still is very relevant and getting better. What I'm saying is they have to hold up the desire to own those assets in these retirement funds and everybody's back end, everybody's portfolio. Otherwise, if those things crash, the whole thing is done. Where do you know the bond market's never been so bad in 300 years, 200 years, and the whole sales of everything are in total spiral south. How do you turn all those things around? There are two tools in the box. They're going to use them. So, am I a Lone Ranger and saying that I think Dow's going to 40,000? Probably. But it is. Why do I think that? Because they can't let it go to 10. And what do they get? Well, what's the tools they own? People, are, <clears throat> let me get clear on this. There are so many people, and I love all of them, and they're right about what they're thinking. The problem is, they don't think like big people. They don't think like the big picture. They don't understand how we got here to begin with. And I'm not bagging on anybody. I'm just trying to say, they change the rules as they go. And you're going to say, oh, well, this math doesn't add up because if they pay this interest rate on that debt, that they, they were all going to zero. And that means the economy goes to zero. Yeah, until they see that start to happen and they do what? They change the rules. Or they stop in the middle of doing what they're supposed to do legally or responsibly doing or they're governed to do. And they do the opposite thing. And they're going to do that. Because they want to save themselves. They want to save the system. They want to kick the can a little further down the road. There's no way they're not going to do that. They're going to do everything other than go to jail <laughs> to make that happen. And you and I, we don't think that way. We think in the honest way of we pay our bills. We, 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 don't, just buy, we don't just get five more credit cards to pay the, the other four off. Well, I mean, you would. A lot of people do. But it doesn't last too long, right? They can do that for almost ever, just about ever. 
It's not exactly the way I wanted to present this, but I do want you to understand that everybody asks me the same question. What's, what do you see? Where's, where's 24 going to look? What does 24 look like? What's going to happen the rest of the year? The rest of the year is going to be flat, in my opinion, unless the ETF comes out. And I think the ETF, by the way, this is a newsflash. I can't believe that ETF isn't out yet. It's already been, it's already been checked. Yes, you got it. No problem. It's yours. That's going to happen. I can't believe it isn't out yet. I'm expecting it any single day. And I'm sorry about uh, my dog Bruno making a mess of this whole video. <laughs> but, <laughs> poor guy. But it's, it's it, pump and dump day yesterday. Well, I don't know when you're watching this video, but yesterday we had the... Uh, uh, news that the ETF for uh, XRP was coming out and it was going to be, oh yeah, did everybody shot up to 75 cents or something and went right back to 65. Those things are going to happen. Volatility is going to happen because we all want that to happen, right? We just do. I'm going to have to end this video because, you know, the cast is, uh, you know, I don't know. They're just, <laughs> they're not cooperating here today. No. Bruno, relax, big guy. I know, I know, you're all worked up. He's pretty... <laughs> he didn't want to film today anyway, you know what I'm saying? He was like, yeah, not, not feeling it. He couldn't be bothered. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys got something from that. I, I get so many great questions. I tried to answer two or three. No, I do not think we're looking at a stock market crash. There was a bunch of people asked me that. I... I could it drop 10 or 15%? Of course, that could happen. Do I think it's going to hit 40,000 before it hits 20,000? I certainly do. I just, that's, if I were in their shoes, that's what I would do to keep my neck from being chopped off. But, you know, I don't know. What do you think about any of that? Put that down below. Oh, and if you'd like to get further information or what we do on this channel, uh, please go to thestaplecrew.info. .info, it's kind of cool. We, uh, we, you can find us there, and uh, we'll be following this as best we can. I know that there's going to come a day when that XRP ETF is going to happen, and I know we all want that day to happen, but it's going to take time, guys, because you have to show the common man that the first one worked out so well for him that then it will spread to the Ethereum and then it'll hit. Hey, we're th XRP is third in line. There's the <laughs> oh, what a mess. Anyway, uh, it's going to be a long day here around the farm. So uh, I'm going to end this video now. And I hope you guys got something out of it other than Bruno is uh, uh, actively pursuing a uh, girlfriend at this moment. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy that. And I love you all, and I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> yeah, I got Romeo here. Yeah, Romeo. Poor guy. I mean, you know, I want to, I, you know, you know what I'm saying here, right? I'm not trying to say I'm trying to, you know, blue ball the guy or anything. I, it's like I want to let a, I just, I got too much going on here is what I'm trying to say. I, do you think I need 10 puppies running around this place? I mean, just think about it. I got 100 chickens. I got, I got pigs everywhere. I, I, 10 puppies? Man, well, I don't know. I, I, don't, I, I feel for the guy. I really do. You can feel the, I can hear the pain in his voice. Both of them. She's in there barking on the other side of the door, wanting to get busy. Anyway, nature. Love it, man. Just love it. Nature in the air. <laughs> uh, gonna have to wear my earbuds the rest of the day, if you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, love y'all. Talk soon. <laughs>